15. No one is better, I think, today to open our proceedings, so Warren, I'd be pleased now to hear from you. Uh, Professor Tom Frame, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with time, I now close because it is 10 past, so uh, the bell should be well and truly ringing. Um, it's a great pleasure to open this inaugural uh, Sir James Rowland seminar, and I do hope they continue in this forum. Uh, I say that very deliberately because inside the audience here is uh, Professor Alan Stevens, whom I've known for some time. And my, as I've gone up through the ranks in Air Force, it has been my observation that how do I replace someone like Dr. Alan Stevens? So that is what has sparked off the academic warrior inside the Royal Australian Air Force. Because in the future, where do we get people like that if we don't invest in seminars like this, if we don't invest in our people in education? Education is the key to the future. It's always been key. I was educated at the only War Memorial High School, and that is Hay, New South Wales. Out of the horrors of the war, they came back and believed they needed to contribute to the future and provide some form of stability. And they did that by building a school. I think education, if you look at what is unfolding in the Middle East with a lack of education, is a very good indicator of why we need to invest in it. The seminar today and academics uh, in general will provide a compass for us to have intellectual debate on a variety of topics obviously air power being one of them. Without that academic and deep debate, we run the risk of being very linear and very thin in our ideas that don't test or don't stand the test of time. And you only have to look at the current US election between the unelectable and the unimaginable and you look at the rush towards popularism and how that has inhibited what in the past has been some very deep intellectual debate on world politics and US politics. It is very instructive of where you can go if you don't invest heavily inside intellectual and academic debate, and particularly in academics. You need a certain amount. You can't always take um, academia to its 100% conclusion, because as Winston Churchill said, I think you need to you develop your strategy, but please don't forget to test it over time. But without academics out there testing the corners of debate, testing the corners of imagination and thought, you don't get those who are less capable understanding where they can go. So in smaller terms, you set the first goalpost for people to be able to understand where you can get to, particularly when it comes down to air power. Because without that, as I said, we'll become very thin, we'll become very outcome focused, and we'll forget the bigger picture that will emerge in the decades and centuries to come. So it's my great pleasure to open the seminar today, and I wish you all the very best in the future. And I thank the University of New South Wales and the Air Power Development Centre for